Hi class, my name is Matt Barnes and today we'll be discussing the operational feasibility techniques designing for reliability and maintainability. In this educational presentation, I will first be defining what it means to design for reliability and maintainability. Then I will be discussing how these two operational feasibility techniques relate to each other as well as how they work. Next, I will explore an application that shows how important reliability and maintainability were when designing this specific system. Finally, I will conclude with some key takeaways. Reliability is the ability of a system to perform its intended mission when operating for a designated period of time or through a planned mission scenario. This essentially means that a system is designed to form to a set standard for a given period of time. For instance, a reliable smartphone is designed to perform correctly for, say, two years, which is the standard contract for smartphones. Maintainability is the ability of a system to be maintained and or repaired in the event of a system or subsystem failure and returns rapidly and efficiently. This means that the system is designed to be maintained or repaired given a system failure or inability of a system to perform at the required level. When a smartphone battery is no longer lasting the required time, a new battery can replace it in order to return the system to optimal functionality. If the phone were to be left without maintenance, the phone will eventually not turn on at all. Smartphones generally put a lot of stress on their battery subsystem and therefore are designed to easily replace the battery. The camera, on the other hand, has a higher probability of performing optimally for longer than the other components of the phone, so the camera is designed to be irreplaceable, except possibly the lens. Reliability consists of the probability that a system will accomplish its designated mission in a satisfactory manner for a given period of time and use under specified operating conditions. Reliability is closely related to probability, satisfactory performance, and time. Reliability is usually stated in probabilistic terms. It requires specific criteria to be met. This criteria could be anything from data speed to miles per gallon to battery life, etc. Time is arguably the most important factor for reliability. Frequently, time is used as a variable to measure optimal performance against, say, a, a satisfactory level for a specified time t with probability p. A hypothetical example displaying these components is that a reliable gaming rig or a computer can run a video game for 10 hours at 1080p and 120 frames per second with probability, say, 85%. In this example, the 1080p and 120 frames per second are the requirements for satisfactory performance, measured against a time of 10 hours, and many tests of this have shown that the computer will successfully accomplish this mission 85% of the time. Designing for maintainability consists of designing a system that can be maintained effectively, safely, in the least amount of time, at the least cost, and with a minimum expenditure of support resources. Designing for maintainability is a process that is involved in every step of the system lifecycle, from conceptual design to system utilization and lifecycle support. The system as a whole, as well as the subsystems and their interrelationships, need to be designed for maintainability. This includes designing for the ability to perform maintenance on parts of or the whole system in order to repair failures or prevent them entirely. Maintainability and maintenance are two different but related concepts. Maintainability is the ability of a system to be maintained. Maintenance is the process taken to restore or retain a system in an effective manner. There are two types of maintenance performed on systems. Corrective maintenance is the unscheduled maintenance accomplished as a result of failure to restore a product to a specified level of performance. This includes the initial detection of failures, localization and diagnostics, disassembly, adjustment and alignment up to the verification of the system. Whereas preventative maintenance is a scheduled maintenance accomplished to retain a system at a specified level of performance by providing system systematic inspection, detection, servicing, or the prevention of impending failures through periodic item replacements. Both maintainability and reliability deal with the continuation of the operation and service expected from a system. Many requirements for, ma for maintainability depend on reliability data. Understanding when a system is likely to fail results in developing a strategic plan for assigning preventative maintenance well before the system, or subsystem, is probabilistically likely to fail. 
understanding how systems will likely fail results in developing a plan for preventative maintenance to co combat this for most instantiations of the system and corrective maintenance to repair the system in case of failures. Reliability of a system can depend on maintainability. Probability of optimal performance of a system for a given time period may depend on pre-scheduled corrective maintenance. A system may be deemed reliable for up to, say, 10 years, but requires preventative maintenance every six months for satisfactory performance. The probability of satisfactory performance of a system is altered after corrective maintenance. Therefore, the reliability of the repaired system is now separate from the reliability of a new system. For instance, a two-year-old phone that has had its battery replaced will now have a different probability of satisfactory performance for the next two years than that of a new phone for the next two years. A multimeter is a system consisting of multiple electronic measuring instruments combined into a single device. Typically, a multimeter contains a voltmeter, an ammeter, and an ohmmeter. A voltmeter is an instrument for measuring the electric potential between two points in a circuit. An ammeter is an instrument for measuring the electrical current in a circuit. An ohmmeter is an instrument for measuring the electrical distance of a circuit or component. An ohmmeter is also useful for checking for continuity between two points on a circuit. This just means checking to see if two points on a circuit are directly connected or not by a wire or trace, which is useful in PCP design, testing, and troubleshooting. Accuracy is of the utmost importance when measuring voltage, current, and resistance in a circuit. Incorrect data can lead to overdriving devices, not applying correct voltage or current to a device, or other issues that can be dangerous for the device and the operator. Multimeters are designed to meet satisfactory accuracy requirements for all measurement types. They are designed to have satisfactory accuracy performance for a given period of time, with preventative maintenance every so often, usually calibrating the accuracy every six months. The battery is designed to last for a given period of time and to be replaced before they leak. Post-battery replacement, the multimeter should continue satisfactory performance. The display is designed to be easily readable. The image in the top right shows a digital multimeter, but analog versions exist as well that are slightly less readable but accurate to a finer degree. The fuse inside the multimeter is designed to handle a given amount of current. Different fuses are available for different expected current levels. These fuses are easily swapped out or replaced should they fail due to the circuit under test exceeding the current limit of the fuse. Multimeters are designed to be calibrated every so often to ensure satisfactory accuracy, thus meeting the reliability requirement. An onboard sensor determines when the battery will need to be replaced, and the battery is easily swapped out. The ammeter won't work with a blown fuse, but the fuse is easily replaced with a new fuse, similar to the batteries. The probability of the display, ports, and or instrument selection dial performing satisfactory for the given life of the device are high and therefore do not have easy preventative maintenance plans to prevent failures. In the case of these, there are corrective maintenance processes that can be followed, but this will, also, this will almost always require the multimeter being sent back to the manufacturer. This is useful for future designs because it gives the designer updated data on the probability of such things failing and can update the design for maintainability. Designing for reliability and maintainability are extremely important to designing a successful system. Designing for maintainability is directly related to and affects the reliability of the system. Designing for maintainability then be considered a key factor in the process of designing for reliability. Maintainability has to be considered during every phase of the system life cycle. Designing the system and strategies for both corrective and preventative maintenance is important to increase the lifespan of the system as well as to meet reliability requirements. A multimeter is a basic example of a system designed to be easily maintained. Electrical testing needs to be very precise. Imprecise measurements can lead to injury, fires, melted equipment, components, or other dangers. Therefore, designing for reliability and maintainability of multimeters is paramount. I've listed here the sources used for the development of this lesson. Thank you for watching this lesson. I look forward to viewing all of your lessons.